What is up and what is poppin' YouTube gang? It's your girl Kelsey And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how I edit my YouTube videos Reason being is because this is another requested video Because people ask me all the time like who edits your videos and like all that stuff and I'm like sis like me <laughs> I edit all my videos and everything on iMovie so um it's Saturday and I already filmed my video for next week so at the moment I'm just gonna take you guys along with me as I edit the video that I just posted last Sunday I'm post I'm recording this so you guys can kind of see how I edit and what I do and we're not gonna edit the whole entire video because like it's gonna be really long but I just want to give you guys the ins and outs on how I edit and what I use all the tools and tricks and stuff and yeah let's get right into it because I need to edit <laughs> hey guys so I'm in my living room and this is normally where I edit so I'm just going to um, not show me in the video fully what I'm gonna do is when I talk about it I'm just going to insert um, screen recordings of my MacBook. And then as the screen recordings are going on, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing. So that's what we're gonna do. I wish I would've thought of that sooner. I literally wasted about like 25 minutes, but it's okay. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my Mac screen, super cute and aesthetic, you know how it be. Um, we're gonna get right into it. So now that you're on your Mac, your Mac or whatever you're using, what you're gonna do is you're gonna import the media that you filmed already. So I use my Canon and what I did was just air, I didn't airdrop it, sorry. <laughs> what I did was I connected my USB and then I, and then I imported it into my laptop. Now that it's all on my desktop, we're gonna now wanna go open up iMovie, so we're going to minimize this because I edit using iMovie. So first thing you're going to want to do is go, to, instead of media, you're going to want to go to projects at the top and then you're going to want to press create new. You're going to want to create a new movie because if you create a trailer, you don't want to create a trailer because you just don't want to do that. You want to create a movie if you're editing a video. Okay, first things first, you're going to go and grab your content so this here is my intro we're gonna go and grab my intro and and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean by editing really does make a huge difference because if you think that somebody goes on camera and they are all natural and they don't mess it <laughs> you're gonna see right now so let's get right into this we're gonna press play you guys are gonna see me doing the most This is me getting ready, prepping for my video. The first thing that we're gonna do is when I'm finally getting myself together is we're gonna pause it by pressing the space bar. What if Okay, so now that we got that, all to pause the clip, all you have to do is press the space bar or you can just physically press pause, but I think pressing the space bar is easier. So then after that, what you wanna do is where, you, where I just, of course, paused, that's where I wanna cut all this nonsense out. So how we're gonna do that, we're gonna right click and we're gonna split the clip. Then, we're just gonna right click again and then delete the clip. And then uh, bada bing bada boom, press space to start it. This is up and what's to Gage Girl Cousin. In today's video, we are talking about one of the most trending. See what I'm saying? That simple. You didn't even know that I had a whole minute of me just being crazy. <laughs> and guess what? There's still so much more to edit. So that, let's just edit the intro together. That'll be what we'll do together. So. Now that that's done, we're gonna go and continue listening to the clip and see what we have to cut and, and all that stuff. In topics in on one of the most trending topics on TikTok. On so the thing is with when it comes to editing is you, you're gonna be listening to yourself multiple times because you're gonna want to make sure that you're cropping at the right part. You're gonna want to make sure that the words flow like when you split the clip you're going to want to make sure that it's it flows with the with the other clip so let's like let's do this again this is up and what's popping to gage girl cousin in today's video we are talking about one of the most trending topics in see i messed up so what we're going to do is we're going to split that but i do like this the beginning to gage girl cousin in today's video and in today's are, video we are yeah you know, we are talking about one of the most trending topics in on one of the most trend okay to Gage Girl Cousin. In today's video, we are talking about one of... Okay, so we're gonna crop it out. We are talking about... Today's video, we are talking about... Okay, now we're gonna go in and split that. And we're gonna delete this. And let's see what we... This is up and what's to Gage Girl Cousin. In today's video, we are talking about... On one of the most trending... We're gonna... On... Split that little... 
Chris, let's start again. What's up, everyone? It's Fabian, it's Gage, Girl Kels. And in today's video, we are talking about one of the most trending topics on TikTok, on everywhere right now. See? Nice, smooth transition. And now we're just gonna split this because we know that that's good. And yeah, that's really that simple. So when you cut and split image, when you cut and split clips, you can always go back because if you look here at the clip, you can always go back and get exactly whatever it is that you cut. So don't think if you cut something, you can never get it back because you totally can. So I just wanted to make sure we clarify on that because I did not know that when I first started editing and <laughs> you just need to know that. Okay, so now let's go into like transitions and words and all that stuff. So transition. So like I like to start the beginning of my video with the transition. So I will go in with the mosaic filter and I mean the mosaic transition and now what you'll literally do is you'll just grab this transition and you just drag it to the front of your film and now you start it and there you go we are talking about one of the most trending topics on tiktok on everywhere right now if all right so now let's continue the video we're going to finish this intro together you are all over tiktok and you see ugc or you're hearing about ugc and all this stuff get on it hop on this ugc train because anybody and everybody no matter what age no matter what gender no matter what you like no matter what your location you can jump into this and you don't even need a following so so if this sounds like it's something that you're interested in make sure you guys keep watching okay so that intro was not too bad so we're gonna just split this out because there was no need to me for me to be smiling at the camera for that long and we're gonna now go in with another transition because we're gonna talk about the video because that was the intro to get you guys grasped now we're gonna get into the intro i mean now we're gonna get into the points of the video so we're gonna go in with another clip okay we're gonna go in, i'm sorry we're gonna go in with another transition just so you guys can see that we're going in with another transition so let's go in with the open door there we go not open door, circle close. So the next clip is going to close us out. So let's go grab our next clip. Okay, so now that we dragged our secondary clip in here, it's a 12 minute clip. So we are definitely not going to edit this whole thing, but we are going to talk about most of the basics so you guys can see how I edit and all that stuff. So now that the second clip is in, we're going to put, we put the transition here. We're going to now watch this clip and see what we have to cut and edit out of here. So... Yes. All right, so now we're gonna re rewind a little bit. And we're gonna split that because I clearly was not sure what I was gonna do. <laughs> All right, so now let's if see. If you're interested in, make sure you guys keep watching. Yes, you heard that right. You do not need followers to start with UGC. And let's just start because like I said, um, this is a really big topic on TikTok, but I feel like it's not as big on Instagram and as big on YouTube. So I wanted to touch on this mostly because I have been getting a lot of people send me messages because I've been posting on my story and on Twitter is like my wins from UGC. And I do that only to really score other brands, not to like brag or anything. But a lot of people are asking me like, what is UGC? Like, how do you get into it and all that stuff? So this is just a super short, simple and sweet video that I Okay, I'm definitely going to cut it here because I know that I start rambling and then I end up completely not adding any of that into the video. So, um, let's just... Simple and sweet video that I could... I could I could make another video if you guys really want me to explaining more things if this video, if these comments are like a lot of questions and stuff. But... Yeah, see, like that made no sense. So we're going to cut that out and delete that. And let's see. What is UGC? Like, how do you get into it? All that stuff. So this is just a super short, simple and sweet video that I want. I need to so this is just a super short, simple, sweet video. Like, how do you get into it? All that stuff. So this is just a super short, simple and sweet. Super. OK, so we're going to split this because this is what I mean by editing definitely is very time consuming so you have to be patient when it comes to editing and all that stuff so this is just a super short simple and sweet video i needed to get into this and i needed to show you guys i needed to tell you guys all that you need to know and who need see look at me all messing up so now we're gonna space because that's how because spacing is pausing okay and we're gonna split that because i don't know if i'm gonna keep this whole thing in here let's see like what is ugc like how do you get into it all that stuff so this is just a super short simple and sweet video i needed to get into this and i needed to show you guys i needed to tell you guys all that you need to know and who need okay this and i needed to show you guys i needed to tell you guys i needed to get into this and 
Okay, let's see what this is about. So yeah, I just feel like because it's not touch. Okay, so I can delete this. All right. UGC, like how do you get into it, all that stuff. So this is just a super short, simple, and sweet video. I needed to get into this, and so yeah, I just feel like because it's not. Okay, this doesn't not needed. Maybe it is. Or a simple and sweet video. I needed to get into this, and so yeah, I just feel like because. Okay, we're gonna delete this. Do that only to really score other brands not to like brag or anything but a lot of people are asking me like what is ugc one thing with editing like i said you are going to be hearing a lot of playback of yourself so you are going to sound real annoying and you're going to get real tired of yourself just saying like how do you get into it and all that stuff so this is just a super short simple and sweet video so yeah i just feel like because it's not touched on on youtube as much that i had to come on this space and i had to share more information with my audience so without further ado like i said let's get into ugc the ins and outs and all that shit <laughs> okay so finally, as I thought I was getting into it, um, I guess I didn't, see? Anyway, but we are now gonna try to get into like text overlays and all that stuff. We're really not gonna edit this whole video. So let's get into text overlays. So pretty much if you want to get text into your videos, you're gonna go to the top of it and press titles. After you press titles, you're gonna get a bunch of themes and you just pretty much pick whatever theme you want. You can press this and be like, hello, like type hi enter and now that's in your clip so you see this little purple thing you're gonna want you can drag this anywhere and let's put her here and then you can make it long you can make it short like when you actually play the clip back now look what it looks like see like how do you get into it and all that stuff so this is just a super short simple and sweet video so yeah i just feel like because it's not touched on and on simple. youtube at so yeah like that's how you do text overlays in your videos then if you wanted to do like a picture in picture type of thing you would literally just grab i don't really have any pictures on my desktop i should have thought of that if you want to do a picture in picture you literally just grab your your download and then you just put it on top and then this will be on top and that's what's going to be showing versus this but i'm going to delete that because we're not going to do that <clears throat> all right so now people always ask me about my background music so Background music is really important. Make sure that you are getting, make sure the music that you are using is non-copyrighted. Make sure you are using it from YouTube Studio or using a website that you that is legit because if you use copyright music, your videos in the future you cannot monetize. So I highly recommend not doing that. I get all my background music and sounds off of YouTube Studio and that's really just my go-to. So let's talk about how to get music in here. So to get music in here, you just go back to your downloads. Once you have your downloads, you're gonna grab, oh crap, let me get this out the way, I hate when this happens. Okay, so we're gonna move up my iMovie right here, okay. So now the downloads thing, here we go. We are going to grab the music. I just have Sunny Travel by Nico Staff and you just put the music below your clip. The reason being is because if you put it over your clip, it's not gonna, like, your your content's not really gonna show. Well, actually, I don't think it's gonna let you. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, so you have to put it in the bottom, and then this here just kind of controls the volume of the music, and because it's a background clip, you do not want it very loud, because, look. If the background music is really loud, it's gonna overpower your actual voice in the sound of the video so what you want to do is just go to this little yellow line the the one that controls the volume and you're just going to want to go all the way down i go anywhere between four anywhere between four and three like four and three i normally do four i don't know why i just like even numbers but yeah then yeah we are talking about one of the most trending topics on tiktok on everywhere right now that is how you add music into your videos super super simple and i feel like that's really like the basics like I feel like that's all you really need to know when it comes to editing um if you wanted to do like I know my videos look kind of like cool but it's because there's multiple transitions and there's multiple um text overlays there's multiple picture in pictures but like I just feel like you do just have to kind of play around with it but this is the most basic tools and as you continue as you get more practice and immerse yourself you will get better. I record and edit all of my videos. I post all of my videos and all that stuff. Oh, posting. Okay, perfect. So after your whole um, video is done, you're going to, of course, make sure this is very important that your <clears throat> music and your sound doesn't go past your video length because if so, your 
video will be two minutes long, see? But then, ins and outs and all that shit. <laughs> it'll be a black screen playing music, and you want to make sure that your volume, is, like that your music tab, is all the way at the end of your video. And if you have like an, a spin out like um, transition like that, make sure it's at the end of your transition, so when it spins out or however your outro screen is, the music ends at that. So yes, let's talk about exporting the video because I feel like that's what I had a lot of trouble with. So literally, how you export a video. <clears throat> You're going to want to press file at the top here once the video is all edited and then you're going to want to press share not import media no share you're going to want to share this as a file when you share it as a file you're going to want to look here and see if everything's there and it is now you just you can just keep it as a description of your movie because whenever wherever you share this you can then change it but this here you're going to want to make sure that the resolution is at 1080p Quality is high, um, compressed, I like better quality. I'm not exactly sure why I do that, but I just, of course, want better, quali better quality videos. So then you're gonna just press next, and then you're gonna go to your, de press desktop, and then save. And then this little refresh arrow right here is gonna tell you when your movie is ready. And it's gonna process here in the right-hand side of your screen. Then, once that is done, all you literally have to do is drag that file to YouTube. So let this, I'm going to let this save, and then I will show you guys just how to drag this into YouTube, and then you are literally all done. Okay, so now it is successfully shared. You will get a notification from iMovie saying that your share is successful. So you can X that out because it should be right here in the right-hand side of your screen. So we can now X out of iMovie and open up our internet browser and we're gonna go and press YouTube. Okay, so now I'm of course in my YouTube but this will be your YouTube. You're gonna go and press the create button, upload a video. Once that is uploaded, it's gonna say select files. You can literally select the files if you would like to or you can just go and drag it right in. Then after that, you're literally golden. Like that is it. That was literally it. That was the most easiest way to edit your videos on iMovie, the ins and outs, what you should know, and also just a little visual for you guys. I do feel like this video was necessary because a lot of people ask me, like, how do you edit your videos? Or like, people actually ask me if I pay people to edit my videos. I will not pay nobody to be editing my videos because no. So I believe that you can do it. It's super simple. If I can do it, you can do it. And I really hope that this video is helpful. I'm gonna now stop screen recording and I am gonna film an outro for you guys. But this here was really it. I really hope you guys- That video took a lot longer than expected to edit. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned to my channel every Sunday for a new upload every week. Bye.